DJ Barker, National Signing Day, and the Rose. We know one thing about well, Memphis, Tennessee. You're going to Rose, you got to be pretty smart. A smart one. <laughs> but, but just talk about your journey to Rose. That's a student athlete spot. You have to be an athlete and a student to get into that college. Talk about your journey to getting Rose. Right. Well, it started out freshman year. I was really new. Um, I was kind of antisocial, so I decided that football would be a good way to introduce me to other people. And uh, while I was doing that, my uh, first college crowd they introduced me to like working hard and being uh, yeah, I'll be in the same thing this time. Yeah. So, uh, very nice to see you guys again. Congratulations. Like model. Okay, so this is down the road, right? St. Augustine area. So, okay, so when did y'all move to Brighton, Tennessee? Moved uh, uh, November last year. Okay, so you joined this football team, pretty successful program. What were you thinking once you got here to Brighton about when you joined the football team? Um, I thought it was, it was very different. It was much different, a much more different atmosphere. And uh, when I moved here, I didn't know what to think at first, but eventually during the summer especially, I got to know people and I thought it was a really nice place to be. Now, your spot on the team wasn't guaranteed. So the guy in front of you goes down, you get the opportunity, you never let it go. <laughs> what? When you got your opportunity, what were you thinking? I was thinking, don't stop, just keep pushing. Okay, now, some people looking at this interview right now, they, they're looking at you and they're like, okay, is he a linebacker, running back? What's your position? Center. Say that again? Center. Center. Would you admit that you're going to be a center? Yes, sir. I'm very <laughs> sure. Okay. So what makes you successful? I talked to mom and dad. They said it's your drive and your motivation. But you're out there doing it. What keeps you on there, out there on that field? What makes you so successful? It's snapping that ball and blocking usually the biggest guy on the line. It's mostly in form. I just make sure that I get lower than the guy in front of me. And then, and then just don't stop until I hear that news. See, there you go again, using that intelligence. That. See, that's why you're going to roll. That's a very smart answer. Both center grab and get on the guy. He's just leverage against some things like that. But your teammates must believe in you because you are the center you call plays. You, you don't want to get every play starting to touch the ball every single play. How important is that to the next guy that's coming up who wants to be a center? What advice would you give? I would give him just be disciplined and everything that you do. And one last question for you. This successful run that y'all been on, you know a lot of key players. But you're one of them, but your name is not in the paper. I'll admit it. It's my fault. Um, we don't put you on YouTube. We don't put the alignment out there. But talk about your group that you're on that line with, your, your line mates. And seeing Lance had a success, and Lee had a success, Aaron, what pride y'all take in as the five out there blocking? We, all together, we know that we're not going to be, you know, sure on television or anything like that. So we understand that whenever our running backs get hard and well, that we know that we did our job and we're happy to be Well, you had this opportunity, but look at the camera, give, give a shout out, name the guys who on the line with uh, you. Jordan John, and we got Tyler Carmack, Enrique, and Alex Blue. And I'm sure, that, uh, you know, Lance and all of them would be like, hey, thank you for giving y'all some shine that y'all were well deserving. Y'all wouldn't be in the quarterfinals if it wasn't for you guys. I appreciate it, DJ, taking time to talk to us. Congratulations, Ken Rose.